Hey, do you know what's on tonight? I don't know. It's a Thursday evening. TV writers usually run out of good ideas this late in the week. Hmm, my TV guy says PBS has a um, show on Shakespeare tonight. I watched that. The humor is dry and there weren't any gunfights. Might as well just start flipping cameras. Alright. Hmm, C-SPAN, C-SPAN HD, C-SPAN 2 HD, CNN. We try. The Discovery Channel has stuff on exploding things. Hmm. What if it has exploding pants? I like exploding pants. <gasps> In our expanding world, we have often searched for a power source that could take us beyond the limited and dirty fossil-based fuels of today. We have turned our hopeful eye at the wind, solar, geothermal, tidal, hydrogen, and nuclear fission. Still, each had its flaws. However, a new promising technology known as hydrogen fuel has been developed. Before it was used in fuel cells, hydrogen had been used to transport people and goods in other ways. Since it is much lighter than air, it was put in massive zeppelins, which were considered a luxurious way to travel in the 30s. Unfortunately, it is very flammable, and after the Hindenburg incident, people weren't so keen on using it. Modern day blimps are filled with inert and buoyant helium. But that was totally old school. No, nowadays we use fuel cells. In fuel cell conversion, the hydrogen recombines with oxygen to produce water and electricity, the electricity being used to power electric motors. Alternatively, you could just burn the hydrogen like they do in regular engines. Lots of automotive people are working on fuel cell cars. The main problem is how to get the hydrogen. People try to collect it via biological processes like decomposing. Why does anyone want a compost pile in a car? Hold on, there are other ways to get hydrogen. It's called electrolysis. The only problem is, you need electricity to zap water into hydrogen and oxygen. Before we can advance fuel cells, we're going to need an efficient way to get electricity. The emissions, though, from the fuel cell itself is pure oxygen. Talk about saving the world. In addition, if a whole economy were to be based on cars using hydrogen, it would be called a hydrogen economy. Iceland vows to be done by 2050. While it may take several decades to find a power source that, is, that can create the electricity for electrolysis, the fuel cell technology itself is incredibly clean and efficient. Research continues on better ways to store and treat the hydrogen, many funded by our own United States Department of Energy. Kiss up. What? what? Did you really have to gag me? If it, if you, if and that's all we have time for today. Join us next time on Helium Generation and Story. Super Explosion Extravaganza Specials tomorrow. Oh.